Network Waste Kid here. In a previous article, I wrote about ASA Remote Access VPN with Microsoft Azure as a SAML 2.0 provider. So this is where we looked at actually uh, using the Microsoft Azure Active Directory to uh, authenticate users connecting to a Cisco ASA uh, for remote access. And we run through all the steps that's covered on my uh, website here, networkwiskid.com. So you can take a look at that. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to focus on uh, this a little bit more. But we're actually going to look at now adding two-factor authentication. And first, what we'll do is we'll look at how we can use uh, Azure's conditional access with uh, with this to implement two-factor authentication using Microsoft's Authenticator. And then we'll take a look at how we can actually use a third-party uh, two-factor or MFA provider. In this case, we'll be looking at Duo to actually uh, control that two-factor authentication process. So if you are following along, you will need access to your Azure tenant and you will need to ensure that you have the relevant licenses within Azure in order to make use of conditional access as well. So what we need to do is now that we have the ASA configured um, with SAML and tied into Azure Active Directory using the enterprise application, as you can see uh, here. What we need to do now is we need to uh, add the Microsoft's two-factor authentication. And to do that, we can do it uh, by going through the actual application itself. So if we click on Cisco AnyConnect in this case, and then what we want to do is we want to scroll down or go down to security and conditional access on the left. And then we'll create a new policy. So let's just create a new policy and let's give this policy a name. So we'll call this Microsoft MFA VPN, let's say. We can also see already because we, we kind of uh, creating this through the uh, application, the AnyConnect application. We can see that we've got uh, one cloud application that's included uh, for this conditional access policy. So we'll leave that. And you could click on that as well just to uh, verify. And you can see there that we've got our Cisco AnyConnect application there. Now what we want to do is we want to um, go across to our access controls and under grant if we click on the zero control selected we'll get a, a new panel on the right hand side here and what we can see is we can see here the the first option to require multi-factor authentication and this is what we uh, what we're going to do uh, in this and you can click on the information um, and it says here that users must complete additional security requirements like phone call or text before they uh, successfully authenticate. So this is going to use by default the Microsoft authentication and in an upcoming video we'll take a look how we can use uh, Duo as opposed to the Microsoft authentication to leverage even more controls that uh, Duo has to offer. For now though, we will uh, select require multi-factor authentication and you can see um, here as well at the bottom we'll leave this as the default one that's uh, for multiple controls. When multiple controls are selected you can either specify that all controls must uh, be, be met um, or you can only require one of the selected controls. We're not really bothered about that because we're only requiring multi-factor authentication here. So we'll select that. And now you can see under grant, we can see one control selected. Now, just before we save this, it's not enough to just make sure that the cloud application is included and um, 
we're requiring two-factor authentication as we've set here we also need to specify the users or the identities as well that this is going to apply to so what we're going to do here is we're going to specify a specific user that we're using for testing so that user is going to be azure demo here so we'll select this user and um, we should be good there and under here we can see that we have um, policy options to either report only um, based on the matches of this policy we can select it on uh, so it's enforced and we can also turn it off as well so what we're going to uh, do is for this one we're just going to select on and we also have a little warning sign uh, or notification here saying it looks like you're about to manage your organization's security configuration. That's great. You must first disable security defaults before enabling conditional access. So because conditional access has not been enabled yet on this particular tenant, um, our security defaults are enabled. So we will need to uh, disable that. So if I just click on here, we can see here uh, we have the option to disable that and, um, and we've got a little bit of a survey here asking why we're dis disabling the uh, default security and uh, we're just going to put here that we're using CA or conditional access so we'll save that and now what we'll do is we'll you we can see that that um, notification has now disappeared and let's just go to create now and there you go so we can see now that we've got a um, conditional access policy that's been assigned to our any connect application as we saw um, when we was creating it and we can see that the state is uh, set to on here so what we want to do now is we want to test this and um, verify that we actually have to use two-factor authentication before we actually get access to that VPN so we'll do that now so we have a new machine here that's hosted elsewhere so it's um, gives us the ability to test connectivity to our remote access VPN solution so we'll just go ahead and open a browser because we don't have any connect installed and I'll just type in the information here okay so now we can see that we've got to the head end of the ASA now we can see here that um, we've got a notice saying that we're going to be redirected to our SAML IDP and we can see that the group that we've got configured is Azure or named Azure. If you haven't yet checked out my article on how all this was configured then do head over to my website www.networkwizkid.com where you can see how all this was uh, configured initially. What we're going to do now is we're going to press login and you can see now that we've been redirected so I want to use the user that we specified in um, Azure so that would be if we just go back into it so that would be this this particular user here And if I just enter the password for the user, we can now see that uh, our organization requires more information before we are able to successfully authenticate and um, get through to the stage where we download the AnyConnect client. So if we click next, you can see now we're going to be guided through the 
uh, two-factor authentication process with uh, Microsoft. So you can see here now it's asking us to uh, download the application, which is the Microsoft Authenticator. And uh, you do have the option to use a different Authenticator app if you want it. So what I will do is I will use the Duo one that I already have. So if I just click that and then click Next, and then we've got the option now to be able to scan the QR code. So I'll just scan the QR code on my device and go through those settings there. Now once I've saved those details there, I can then go ahead and press next, where it should ask me to now enter my uh, one-time passcode, which is generated on my device. So I'll just do that now and then press next and there you go we can see now that it's successfully uh, set up in regards to uh, two-factor authentication so again you can use the microsoft authenticator app um, i've just used the duo one for simplicity because it's already installed and there you go now you can see that we get through to um, the ASA so that we can download the AnyConnect image and then once that's downloaded and installed we should be able to then connect to uh, the VPN again using two-factor authentication. So now if I just put the URL into the AnyConnect client so that we can connect to the uh, VPN we can now see what the behavior will be. If I just press connect there, you can see now we get a browser pop-up automatically where we can put in our user details. So I'll just do that now. And now you can see I am asked to enter my one-time passcode from my Authenticator app. Like I say, if you are using the Microsoft Authenticator app, then it's maybe slightly different. However, I'm using the Duo one in this case, so I'm just going to enter that and verify. Just press no on that. So you can see now that it's establishing that VPN there uh, once we've entered our one-time passcode obvious along with our email address and uh, password and you can see there now that I've lost access to that because obviously we've established that VPN and I didn't set up any split tunnel so that pretty much shows how we can um, there we go we just got off that there so that pretty much shows how we can set up um, our ASA to authenticate with Azure Active Directory and also enforce two-factor authentication using conditional access as well. In our upcoming video what we'll do is we'll actually look at doing the same however we will look at how we can use conditional access to integrate Duo so that we can also use the features provided by Duo as well.